Right, so before we uh, get into, you know, all the time I, I, I share graphs and uh, a lot of things, but I just want to uh, start on a different note here today. Um, today is 10th of October 2015, and, and I think it's a special day. Uh, it's a very um, special day because uh, um, uh, if, you, if you look right back one year ago, one year, one month ago, exactly one year, one month, 10th of October 2014, um, the national aim was born. Uh, that was the day when um, the expert faculty uh, group signed off, reviewed, and signed off the national aim, and we had a list of uh, harm, a uh, proposed list of harm. So uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It's almost just about one year. Um, right. And, uh, and since, uh, since uh, the uh, expert faculty, we have come a long way. Um, long way. And so we started the journey with a, with a national aim in a piece of paper and a list of uh, harm and look at where we are today. Learning session three and uh, uh, almost all the DHPs plus one private hospital in this room uh, learning and sharing. So it, it's been a fantastic journey. And, and to reflect some of the things that how far we have come, we sometimes don't see these things. But what we need to see is that all the DHPs now have a project charter. Right. I know I have given a hard time to all of you, <laughs> but apart from that, we all have a, a really good project charter. Right. We have a theory in place. Every DHP have a theory in place in terms of how we're going to reduce that harm. We have identified harm. Right. We all have all the measures uh, identified, outcome process and balance measure identified. And the most amazing part is that we are collecting data on a, freak, on a more frequent basis, which is... And, one year ago, there was no data available. There was nothing, right? And look at, look at now. Every uh, storyboard is full of graphs and uh, a lot of learnings and testing. So it's, it's been a fantastic journey. So we have done quite a lot, achieved quite a lot. And uh, we have established baselines as well. So it's really good. Now, th this is all the achievements we have done. And I have achieved as well. And I know how to uh, say this thing now, which I couldn't earlier. Thanks, Beth and John. Um, I wouldn't say that. So. So this whole uh, national picture is, uh, is the reflection of the achievements so far. And, um, and I would like to congratulate uh, all of you for achieving this because one year ago there was nothing, right? We were, we were forming the team and we have come that far. And we are getting there. We still, there's work to do, but so far this is a great achievement. And for that reason, I think we all deserve a round of applause for ourselves. Right, so uh, where are we uh, with Collaborative? <clears throat> uh, so this is uh, taken out of the September dashboard. So as you can see, we are at learning session three. Now, we have used the IHI um, scoring system just to uh, see how we're progressing with uh, um, uh, the Collaborative. Now, we are, on an average, at an average, we are at 2.7. In September, we're at 2.7 against the target of 2.5. So, which is pretty good. We're tracking pretty good. Uh, but I think uh, the thing we need to notice here is this phase, compared to this phase, right? Uh, it took a while for us to really get up and go and um, create a documentation, project charters, identify harm. It took a while uh, here. So, but as you can see, that uh, it's not an easy journey. It's a bit of a steep curve here. Right, and we got uh, timelines there uh, to meet. So uh, we will see how that goes, but this is where we are. Uh, so far we're tracking good, um, so it looks good. And this is the graph for individual DHP. Um, so as you can see, all of the DHPs are around those mark of 2.5 and 3. Um, again, this data is not for uh, comparison or accountability. This is about sharing the journey, right? We are a different, um, a different part of the journey. And the sum of the zeros, as you know, is because of some of the reporting issues and other issues. So it's not a reflection of that. They haven't started the project, right? So just to be clear. Right, so in terms of harm, how does the latest harm distribution look like now? Because there was, uh, we all know there were a um, few DHPs where we learned that there's no harm and we have to move on to another harm. So th as of now, we got 11 DHPs who are focusing on constipation, uh, three on respiratory depression, and three uncontrolled pain, and two nausea and vomiting. And uh, for the purpose of uh, creating this graph, we have, uh, um, we're calling Mercy Escort as a DHB here as well, so I hope it's okay, because it's easy for the, creating the graph. Um, right, and this is the breakdown of um, 
the harm by DHPs. You can see who, who is doing what, and uh, um, please feel free to connect with all the DHP during two days to learn and share and what else we can do. Right, drive a diagram. So um, this is as this is your challenge. This is my challenge as well to continue to refine this, especially when if it's on a PowerPoint. As you all know, how easy is it to maintain a driver diagram? So I, ha I updated uh, many of the change ideas, uh, but the, my challenge is because you keep changing your your change ideas, and I have to keep changing. So it's a bit of a challenge all the time to keep an eye on what's happening out there and update this uh, on the national driver diagram. So this is the national theory at the moment. It's not the reality, it's the, it's the theory, how we're going to achieve our aim. And all this testing is going on at the moment. Um, and as we go, we'll eliminate these things and we'll see what, what is working and for each uh, harm group. So dashboards. Now, um, one of the key part of this is uh, the dashboard. And we've got two types of dashboard. One is more operational side of it, and another one is the harm-based. So I'll share the first one with you, which is the operational side, and I'm sure you have seen uh, this dashboard, uh, which comes uh, into email every month. So uh, we've covered harm and we covered the progress, and I'll, let me take you through the, some of the graphs here. So this is the engagement um, slide, and I've taken out the DHP name because we want to look at the bigger picture, the national picture, right? So I think the interesting thing is look at this part, team engagements, and these are self-reported scores. Right, it's not what we think, it's you, what you are reporting every month. So this is September. So the, the median is at four, really good engagement, team engagement. This is what it's reflecting, So which is really good. Clinical lead engagement, yeah, it looks really good as well. Uh, we definitely have a few areas to improve. And again, some of the zeros are because of uh, uh, reporting issues, and it's not that we don't have any person there. So, and. And the third one is a sponsor. And I think this is the one I want to just stop on for a moment because this is the lowest in all of, all of these. And why I'm sharing that is because as we go forward with implementation, this is going to be critical because these are sponsors of the people who will uh, remove barriers for us and take us forward. So, um, so we need to think about how to uh, start interacting with our sponsors and bring them on board um, so that as we move into implementation, they can support and uh, 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 remove any barriers. So we'll, uh, we'll talk about it later. So that's engagement. Now PDSA, as you all know, um, PDSA is, is interesting uh, things. Uh, so. As you can see, we, we had learning session uh, two there, and since then we had a um, bit of increase in the uh, numbers. Um, and this is the average PDSA per uh, DHP. Um, now, I'm sure you're thinking that that doesn't sound right because it's, it, it's not easy. Because the, the challenge here is that you're doing so many PDSAs, uh, and we, we know that because when we visited all the DHPs, we, we, when we shared, uh, when you shared all the stories, we can see that there are so many uh, PDSAs done. But uh, it's not ca either captured or not reported, so different things. But we know there are a lot of uh, PDSAs going on. So yes, this is just based on the numbers, which is pure numbers, which I collect from the uh, dashboard, which still need to be discussed. Like I'm aware that Mercy has, has, got, has done a uh, few PDSAs, it's just that uh, when, when you compile the report, it's just how the numbers um, add up. So um, apologies if it's not reflecting correct, but we'll, we'll correct it if it's not. Right, <clears throat> so what I did is that I took that monthly report, compiled all the testing areas, and tried to see what is the common themes emerging, irrespective of which harm. It is. So uh, what is appearing is that all the, as a national uh, testing, if you, if you say, the key areas where uh, most of the teams are focusing is first on documentation, um, so a lot of um, uh, trying to capture the harm and um, how capturing doc uh, constipation, nausea, vomiting, respiratory depression, and those kind of things. Um, and education, there's a lot going on in the education space, staff and patient education, awareness, so that's a big uh, focus. Um, uh, there are many DHPs who are focusing on guidelines and different uh, trees and different, uh, different uh, basically a subproduct of, uh, sub of the guidelines. So it's a lot of uh, work going on. And there are many DHPs who are consistently working on clinical engagement uh, through grand rounds and other, other areas. Um, and some of the teams, teams are still working on data. 
uh, how to refine the data collection, what we can learn, and what 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 we can do differently. So that's an ongoing thing, and a uh, lot of the DHP is also focusing on prescribing in terms of how to improve prescribing. So these are the key themes where um, most of the DHPs are focusing on at the moment um, from the report. Now, <clears throat> uh, this is a really exciting site because. Um, uh, this is a self-reported where, uh, uh, where we asked that, uh, do you think uh, you have intervention uh, to be included in bundle? And I think it's quite exciting to see that at least six interventions are ready uh, to be included in bundle. Now, this is self-reported, and I think uh, what this graph um, will help us to start the conversation with the teams that, okay, that's really uh, fantastic if you got a bundle. Let's start the discussion and see um, uh, what do we need to, uh, what evidence we have behind it, and uh, all those discussions. So it will facilitate those discussions. Uh, so if you are one of those DHP, we'll discuss about that intervention in the next uh, in the coming two days. Now, harm dashboard. Um, here we go. And I have to say, uh, I, I received uh, uh, the last set of data yesterday. And it's a fantastic job done by Hutt and Warup. Within one week, they got all the data. And with that, I, I managed to plug in the last graph in the, in the whole dashboard. So well done. All graphs on board, full house. Right, the dashboard is full now for 2019 um, uh, uh, DHB plus one private hospital. So now the interesting thing about uh, this thing is, is uh, I haven't created this any of these graphs apart from one, two, which is where I have to help. But it's not my graphs. It's all your graphs. This is the graph which you created. Right? So think about it one year ago, there was no idea about harm, we didn't know anything, and now we have graphs, and many of us have already know what the baselines looks like. Right? Still, there's a bit of a work to be done on these graphs, but still, it's a really positive, really good story here. Look at the picture here. This is the national picture. This is the national dashboard for, uh, for uh, harm. So constipation, 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 um, and uncontrolled pain, um, respiratory depression, and then nausea and vomiting. So it's, sort of, it's a bit of mixed up, but uh, uh, that's a really uh, good story. So that's the high-level um, dashboard. Uh, for harm. So what I, what I try to do is uh, try to take the process measures because you all are collecting data on process measures and also create a dashboard on that to see uh, at a national level how does it look like. Right, there we go. Unfortunately, I haven't collated all the harm. It's quite a bit of a lot of data to crunch through and um, uh, put it in a sensible way, but constipation was easy because everybody was doing almost pretty much similar thing. So one of the two areas where constipation group is focusing on is uh, co-prescribing of laxative and improving the documentation. So as you can see, um, most of the DHBs got a graph and they're all measuring the data, so outcome measures and process measures, which is interesting. If it's not reflecting the right, um, um, right data, please let me know. I'll, I'll go and change it. Now, there are a few DHBs who, uh, who, has come, who, who said we, are, we already improved uh, now. So, and I think uh, I spoke to Bay of Plenty the other day, and they said, no, no, we, our data is showing really good. I spoke to uh, Mid Central today, and they said, you'll be excited to know that there's some, something going uh, in our data. So, this is all good story, really good stories. It started coming out. Um, lakes, uh, you can see a lot of improvement there. Look at Waikato. So, and this is exactly what we, the theory was uh, that first we need to improve the documentation uh, before we go and do other things. So, uh, it's really, um, really encouraging. So, Capital and Coast, uh, Bay of Plenty, Waikato, so almost all of them, uh, we, we are on, a, on, on that journey, on that trajectory of improvement, which is great. Um, so, you can see some of the DHPs are really um, picking up, so please feel free to connect with those DHPs and see what they are doing differently, so uh, we can... Uh, improve as well. Now, the last part is the data aggregation. <clears throat> That's my biggest challenge. Um, so, Synergia, who's our evaluators, um, and then Richard Hamling, who's the director of uh, measurement evaluation within the commission, and you all know John Kruger from IHI. We, we, we three, uh, we four people are in a room, usually, uh, trying to nail this uh, issue of data aggregation because it's not just straightforward. Because the, the, the issue here is that you all have different, slightly different definitions, right? And I just want to show you um, this graph. This is just a constipation graph. Um, this is the number of DHPs reporting per month, uh, weekly, right? So you can see when, when uh, Lakes was the first one who started the data collection right, right in February. So two DHPs 
uh, started data collection at that time. So, and then it slowly increased, more DHP started reporting, and this is where we are. We almost got eight um, DHPs reporting, and I think uh, now it's getting much better. Uh, we're almost getting close to 11. Now Hart and Warup is also reporting. So we're getting uh, close to that 10 and 11 mark with all the DHPs reporting. Now, but this poses a specific problem. Because if we have to establish a baseline at a national level, can we establish a baseline based on this 2DHP? So there are a different set of challenges, and I'll show you um, that how that data reflects in this graph. So I tried to put all the data for constipation together. Again, this is not the final picture. This is just a, a, a version of the na national picture. So you can see this is a phase where only 2DHP is reported. Right? And then uh, look at when, when we have more DHPs reporting how it looks like. Whatever it is, it looks quite promising. <laughs> right? So, uh, and uh, this is the further uh, deep diversion of this part here. So we need to still think and, uh, and come up with a, a method of how we're going to establish baseline when we have so many challenges behind this data. So definitions are different. Uh, and we also need to know, that's why we asked you that, Tell us when did you start the intervention? Because we want to know when did uh, that intervention start uh, interfering with the improvement. So, so that's the national picture. Um, there are so many other things which I can share, but this is just to share where we are heading with in terms of graph. The data which you provide, how does it look like? What are we doing with all those data? And if you have any questions, please feel free to um, uh, ask the team. Right. Thank you.